Hey, I'm Megan, and in this video, I have eight different DIY rope ideas from the Dollar Tree to share with you. This first DIY is super easy. All you need is an empty can. This is an old paint can of mine. Dab of hot glue at the bottom, wrap your rope around, and then you don't need to add glue again until the very end. Second piece of rope, do the same thing. Then take a third piece of rope, and measure out your handles. Now I'm using Dollar Tree's rope that's nine and a half feet long. If you have 13 feet, you'll only need two pieces. If you use the nine and a half like me, you'll need a little bit over two. This is the Walmart Eucalyptus. It's 50 cents right now on sale and I can link it down. I love the way this little DIY turns out. It looks cute as a little hanger. You could probably put pins or something else in here too, but it also looks really cute on a table as table decor. Super easy, super cute. Next, you need a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree, and I'm using Rust-Oleum's chalkboard spray paint, but Dollar General right now also has chalkboard contact paper that you could use as well, and it's only a dollar. Spray your pan or cover it with contact paper, and then with a little bit of hot glue, just start adding rope all the way around your chalkboard, starting on the inner lip. Now, when I originally did this DIY, I did use the 13 and a half feet and it only took me two and a half pieces of rope, I believe. So if you're using the shorter pieces, obviously you will need more. And then the rope pulls apart really easily. So just pull it apart. And then at two and 10 o'clock, I guess, I don't know, you're going to put a few pieces facing towards you or like the pieces of rope pointing inwards. I don't know. I know you can see what I'm doing though. So it looks like this. Then take an additional piece of rope and cover up the ugliness right on the inside of the lip, but not gluing it to the pan. Add your string to hang it, which is also rope, and then glue your little strings that you just hot glued you have hanging over backwards. I don't know, just watch what I'm doing because I'm not explaining this with words very well. Okay, after that, I got these magnets from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to cover them with rope, so with a little tore apart piece, I just hot glued, swirled it around like a placemat, and then cut at the end. Obviously, this is totally optional. Any magnet will work, but I just thought little rope ones would be cute because it kind of matched. And then here it is, super cute magnetic chalkboard. Great for a family command center in your room or wherever it might be. Easy, higher end looking DIY. Next, you just need these pill organizers from the Dollar Tree. When I originally did this DIY, I thought they were bead organizers, but you live and you learn. And then two of the little glass candlesticks also from the Dollar Tree. Glue your pill organizers, they're stackable by the way, to your glass candlesticks. I'm using a old candle lid. And then for the other side, I'm tracing a hurricane vase on foam board, cutting it out, but you can use cardboard too and hot gluing that to the opposite side. Then all you have to do is start wrapping the rope around your candlesticks. I highly suggest starting in the middle. I promise you it's so much easier than trying to start at the bottom where it gets fat to small and work your way up. You wanna start at the smallest part. On the side with the cardboard, I put the hurricane vase back onto the candlestick and start hot gluing the rope up, making a ledge to hold the candle. The candle looks good as is now, but I wanted to give it some more character or dimension with the scoops and dips. Once again, loss at words, but you see what I'm talking about. So I did hot glue a few pieces of rope where the candle goes in and out. And here's what it looks like. I also made a smaller version where I did not use any of the pill organizers, just two plastics glued together, wrapped in rope. And here they are. I currently have these in our master bathroom and I love the way they look coastal, farmhouse, boho, rustic. I think they go with a lot of different decor styles. For the next DIY, you'll just need some craft paper. Write out whatever saying word you wanna have. I did home. And then you just go and hot glue your rope 
tracing out your cursive work. Now, when I originally did this, I used a low heat hot glue gun. Not a good idea, it took forever, so I would suggest using high heat, just be careful doing it. Then, it looks like this. I ripped away the craft paper. I started off by cutting it, but it was easy just to rip it away. And when that was done, it, still, it was sturdy, but not sturdy enough for me. So I laid it on some parchment paper, and I used regular plain old Dollar Tree glue and just saturated all over the word home and let that dry overnight. After that, this bad boy's done. Super simple. Used a few nails and hung it on the wall. This is in my entryway. It's very, very small, but I love the way this looks. And this can totally be customized or personalized. If you look closely, little bitty tack nails to hold it you can't even see and I used a level to get it straight. Next, you need two of the round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. Carefully take the back off, you know, Dollar Tree mirrors break so easily. And trace out two size plates. I'm just using leftover cardboard, but you can use foam board. And I did this in two different sizes. Wrap it with rope just to cover up the cardboard, make sure none of that's showing. And then very similar to the chalkboard that we did, you take pieces of rope torn apart, two and 10 o'clock again, I guess. I don't know, is two and 10 o'clock right? I don't know. And hot glue it going inwards, add your rope that will be hanging your mirrors. And then you just take your other pieces of rope and flip it back over to hide the ugliness. Both mirrors were done the same way. One was just bigger than the other. This is what it looks like. Then all you have to do is flip it back over and hot glue your mirror back into place. And this is done. These two mirrors, I actually really love the way these look. I have them hanging next to a little small wall by the bathroom. And I saw some very similar for like well over $50. Yeah, no thank you. I like mine. Next. I did the same thing with the square mirror and I'm not going to show you every single step because, you know, that's boring, but I used foam board, traced out a square, did the same little three ropes hanging like I've done in the past few DIYs, wrapped it with rope. You'll have corners. I cut the corners off and the only thing I did different was how I made the little hangy piece, which is I just hot glued a little loop at the top and then covered it with the pieces of rope that were hanging over. But after that, everything's the same. Hot glue your mirror back to the back. And here it is. This is actually where I have the circle mirrors hanging right now and the square mirrors upstairs in my daughter's room. But I love the way it turned out. I've said that on every single DIY, but I mean it. Okay, next, Dollar Tree basket. Take some pliers, tear off little handle pieces, and then, you guessed it, rope, okay? Make some handles, hot glue them to the sides, and then take a piece of rope and just wrap it around the top. But we're not going all the way down. I just did it two times or three times around the top. And then after that was done, I did one piece of rope on the inside to hide the ugliness. Lastly, two little pieces of rope around the bottom. And this DIY is done. Super easy, super simple. And it's super cute to put like toilet paper, bathroom towels, I don't know, organizing your home office, whatever it may be. It's just a nice different way than wrapping the whole basket and kind of having that chicken wire look too. Next, if you have an old lamp that you're not digging the style anymore, wrap it up in rope. I did this last year and it only took me two and a half pieces because the lamp's really skinny. And this was when the rope was 13 and a half feet. And I love the way it turned out better than what it was, especially since the lamp was, I think, $1.50 at Habitat for Humanity. I did end up changing the lampshade though. Here are some images of my last video where I did a $60 room makeover. So everything you're seeing right now was under $60. I also have to the left and to the right, the original videos from some of the DIYs I showed in this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I will catch you next time, friend.